There is a story that I want to make sure is told every Christmas, uh, and it's a story I prefer to tell in person, but this year being the year it is, this is what I can do. And so uh, I want to make sure that we hear the story of Bishop Nick of Myra. You see, Bishop Nick was, uh, Bishop Nicholas, was the leader of, of the churches of My Myra in the fourth century in modern day Turkey. And he had inherited some wealth from his family. And, and so his, what he was known for as a bishop was his generosity, the way that he gave. He had, he had the uh, wherewithal to be able to give, and he gave in a way that reminded people the way that Jesus gave. And, and the story that has been passed down through the ages that sort of captures the, this, this sense of how he gave is the story of, of Bishop Nicholas and the three balls of gold. If you look at, if you look up an icon of Saint Nick, you'll see three uh, balls of gold are, are his sign. He's always holding these three balls or three bags of gold sometimes. So the story goes that Bishop Nick learns of a family that uh, has three daughters. And these three daughters, they need to be married in the ancient times. Like you had to be married if, if you were going to be able to have, be provided for. And to be married, you had to have a dowry. You had to be able to pay the family of the husband uh, to marry the, the, the son. And, and I, I believe this is a precursor of like the modern day traditions about how the bride's family pays for the reception. So back then, uh, you had to have a dowry or else your, your daughters could not be married. And so there's this family with three daughters and there is they have no dowry money. And so these three daughters are, uh, I, they're kind of doomed. Like they just don't have a future. And so Bishop Nick knows of this. And so on the night of the birthday of the eldest daughter, he swings by the, the people's house and, and he takes a, a, ball, of, a ball, ball of gold or a bag of golden coins. It depends on the version of the story. But he takes his gold and he tosses it through the window. So they wake up in the morning and they find they have been given enough money for a dowry and their eldest daughter has been saved. And this happens again on the birthday of the second daughter. So they're very thankful. And then for the third daughter, the dad who, who notices the pattern, right? The dad stays up all night so he can figure out who this is, who's this person, the benefactor who is, is saving his daughters. And so he stays up all night. And, and the bishop, realizing this, evidently the father was not too sneaky about it, he, uh, it's in the city, and so the bishop can sneak up on the roof of the adjoining building and sneak over onto the roof of the, this family's house. And, and he takes the gold and he drops it down the chimney. And the story go, goes that this gold then falls into the, the clothes that are hung by the chimney to dry as they've been washed that day. And in particular, the gold falls into a pair of stockings or socks. And so the next morning, the third daughter wakes up and the gold isn't by the, the window as it had been with daughter one and daughter two. But she goes to pull on her socks and she finds that there is gold in her stocking. Now, uh, so to this day, this is the Bishop Nick that becomes uh, recognized by the church as a saint. Right? So he becomes Saint Nick. And we call him Saint Nick in as much as a saint is someone who helps us see a uh, lived, a lived example of the love of, of Jesus Christ. If you start reading, um, it reminds me personally, there's this moment in Luke 6 that how uh, it give and it will be given to you a good measure pressed down shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap this idea of uh, this image has always struck with me since reading it of this the image of the life of, of a Christian being one of sharing out of the abundance we have sharing out of an abundance of, of yes money but also out of abundance of service, or abundance of kindness, or abundance of paying attention to those who are not paid attention to. We all have an abundance of something. It is a question of how do we share that. And seeing in Bishop Nick how he shared out of his abundance uh, is what makes it so that Bishop Nick is recognized then as Saint Nick. And if you would, if you want to think about it this way, Saint Nick would be the, is, is the he is the beginning of all of our traditions that lead to our modern day Santa Claus. It's right there with a, one man who took the love of Jesus Christ very seriously. And, and so I would uh, encourage you to please take some time this Christmas 
It, it's a weird Christmas season, I know. But take some time this Christmas and, and let your first gift that you give this Christmas be a gift in line with how the bishop gave, Bishop Nick. Can we figure out ways to give our attention, our time, yes, our money, uh, our, our gifts, whatever it might be, to, to give in a way that, that pays attention to others? Uh, my family, I, I know... Um, I just present this as one example of something that we have we have done for years now is we sit down as a family at the beginning of December and we ask what do we want to give this year? What is the first gift of Christmas for us, the Kuhn family giving? And we have given to various causes over the years. This year we're giving to a uh, a foundation that's being uh, put together in honor uh, of someone we know that had uh, lost their battle with cancer this year. So it's just whatever it is that makes sense for your family, I'd encourage you to think about what, what might you do so that the first gift that each of us give uh, this season of Christmas is given in a way that uh, is in line with Bishop Nick and is formed by who we are as followers of Jesus Christ.